Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of uranium. We're gonna jump right in, I'll give you my financial opinion. Uh, we've got the uranium futures price behind us. We've getting that nice little pullback here. And we're still in a little bit of a pullback mode, down 0.31%, down to about $48. Uh, looking at the Sprott uh, Physical Uranium Trust, we did pull back today about 4%. Uh, going on the dailies, uh, we'll have to see. I mean, I do see a little bit of a squeeze up here, and and we just kind of puked out a little bit. Uh, let's grab this one here. You know, this little this little guy here where we just kind of puked down, but doesn't necessarily mean that we're just going to run lower. It does not mean that we're just going to run lower. We got to find out and see what happens tomorrow if the buyers decide to move, come in here. We'll chop sideways, work this momentum off, uh, and then eventually, hopefully head on higher. We are still above the support line going across. Uh, so we are still uh, holding and doing all right. We just don't want to break below this guy down there. We break below that, I feel like we're going to break uh, and, and move lower. Uh, so we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us. Uh, you've got uranium um, ETF, URNM. Again, we've pulled on back. We've pulled up and now we're at the support area. Are we going to just bounce sideways here? High possibility. CCJ uh, pullback here again. It's not a huge selling, you know, selling pressure day. It's not a reversal candlestick either. So it's just a normal down day. And hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully we can start. Maybe we drift a little bit lower and then we start heading higher. Uh, and that's usually what I see. I see a lead in that usually does that, uh, or it goes sideways like that. Something on the lines of that. Bannerman um, looking like it's just going sideways. Uh, it doesn't look too bad here. Looks really good with support going all across it. Uh, looking at Goviax, a little bit more of a sell-off here. Again, I'd like to hold above that uh, bottom level here. like to see the buyer step in here and hold it. Global Atomic. Uh, now, this one's got a little bit more of a selling pressure day here. Doesn't look as good, much like this one. These are bearish engulfing patterns, which usually resolve themselves a little bit lower. Uh, so this one's got a little bit more selling pressure here. We might head back to this support level down there uh, if the sellers want to push it. Uh, this still has some good downward momentum in Global Atomic. Forces Metals looks like it's just bouncing around, uh, getting a little bit of bounce going on. This is not a reversal candlestick. Uh, so again, it's just the sellers showing up, overall market selling off. Peer Point sideways today. Uh, right at support resistance. Deep Yellow getting a little bit more of a sell-off today. It's a bearish engulfing. But again, these smaller companies, sometimes they send good signals, sometimes they send false signals. And we are getting low in the pattern. This is also a bearish engulfing. So these patterns are the same, and they usually resolve in the short term with a little bit more downside left in it. Looking at Paladin Energy, coming on down. Big bullish engulfing here. We're sitting on top of support. Let's see if that support holds tomorrow. Sky Harbor getting a little bit more of a sell-off. Again, we're right between resistance and support. Can Alaska getting a little bit more of a sell-off today. Again, it's we're right at that resistance line. We'll see if this thing rolls over. Uh, and I'm not convinced that we're just going to roll over. We got to see. I mean, it, the overall markets are really weak today, and they are in a downtrend. There's a lot of momentum in the overall markets heading lower. And with the leverage in the system, it, it ties everything together. So when the market goes down, everything kind of gets sold off together. And I think that's where we're at currently. Does it mean that every single day that we go down in the overall markets that we're gonna go down? No, it doesn't mean that. We, I know people are so focused on coupling and decoupling. We're coupled when the markets go down a lot because there's deleveraging going on. If they don't go down very much, I, I don't think there's much correlation. Uh, there's a, a lot looser correlation. And what I'm hoping is happening is, is something that you, you, you pull back, you go sideways, you kind of the, do this V-shaped bottom. And, and hopefully that's kind of what we're trying to put in. Some sort of V-shaped type bottom uh, on the lines of that. But uh, I mean, this is a normal down day in ne next-gen energy, no reversal candlestick or anything. I think we're just going to bounce around for a little bit. Base load energy heading a little bit lower. Uh, it's still looking okay. It's hanging in there. A fission 3.0. We're bouncing off support. We have a little bit more of a large down day today. I think we're just gonna we're gonna base out a little bit, move sideways just a teeny bit. Uh, fission, uh, a little bit more of a down candlestick, bearish engulfing maybe. 
Uh, again, I think we're going to move sideways right at this support level. And hopefully it does. Hopefully it gives us that opportunity to buy all this. This is a bearish engulfing, usually resolves itself lower or Kazat and Prom. Uh, and this is a bearish engulfing there that resulted lower. And then you get a reversal candlestick, which then goes higher. The short term, guys, is very volatile and it can change very quickly. That's the reason I don't trade short term. I just buy this stuff at support levels and then I hold on for the big trend. That's that's how I play this stuff. Peninsula Energy moving sideways. Doesn't look bad. That looks fine. Uh, same with Boss Energy right at support. Uh, it still looks good. Consolidated Uranium moving sideways. Getting that, that nice sideways um, chop going on. Lotus Resources getting the chop going on. Again, I don't want to break below that. This is a island reversal, possibly. Uh, what that means, an island reversal. And I've seen this uh, a lot in the charts. An island reversal looks like this. You get this little reversal where it pops down and then it pops back up. Uh, there's a gap. Uh, there's a gap lower and a gap coming back up. Uh, that's what that gap is right here. That's an island reversal, potentially an island reversal pattern where you reverse and then you head higher. Uh, it doesn't mean that every single day is higher. We had a down day today. And, and it doesn't mean that we just are going to fall off a cliff. But I'm seeing these island reversals every once in a while in the uranium sectors. Like there's your island island reversal there, where gaps lower and then we gap higher. And even though we have a, you know, this obviously could come back, could do a double bottom. And I know people are like, well, you know, this is why I don't trade the short term. The short term is the least reliable; it just moves all over. But I I do think that in this general vicinity, we're probably trying to put in a bottom. So we may we may chop back and forth like this for a little bit uh, before heading higher. So Encore Energy, now this is a bigger sell-off day. We've got island reversal patterns in some of the stocks that I just showed you. And now we throw a bearish, big, big, big bearish engulfing on Encore Energy. Does it mean that that's going to go lower? I mean, maybe. Because we, we've got split, um, split signals in, in the sector with some of these stocks. They're, they're all split. And then you've got the overall market that's, that's falling. Uh, so that's also data out there. And then you've got some commodities that still look pretty strong uh, in the energy sector. And this this is an energy, you know, in the energy sector. So we've got split information all over the place. And usually if you're a trader, I wouldn't trade these markets. I'd be out of them just sitting if I was trading the markets. I'm not trading the markets. I'm investing. Uh, a little bit more of a down day with energy fuels. Uh, that's that island reversal pattern again, too. We've got URG right at support, UEC. Uh, you can see these larger selling pressure days, and hopefully we can we can kind of come down maybe to like a, a a wedge type pattern or something. We've got LEU, yeah, it's a little bit of a sell off today. It's not a reversal candlestick though, so I think we're just going to probably bounce sideways for a little bit. Uh, Light Bridge getting a little bit more of a sell off. Uh, I'd like to see. You know, maybe this trend line break there at some point. ISO Energy, a uh, little bit more of a sell-off today. We have a lot of red candlesticks on the side over here. Uh, this one's looking a little bit more bearish than some of the other ones. Does that mean that we're just going to fall and head lower? I mean, possibly if the sellers come in here and, 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 and hit it here, they could. They could push this lower. Uh, Appia Energy getting a little bit more of a sell-off. We could do a full retest to this blue line down there, 0.25. Denison Mines, a little bit more of a sell-off, but again, it's not a reversal candlestick. I still think we're going to do the bounce and sideways uh, action on a lot of these. Blue Sky, just moving sideways. Forum Energy Metals, right at support. Resistance, it's going to try to break through it if it can. AEC, moving sideways. Laramide, moving sideways for the most part. Uh, Western Uranium Vanadium, a little bit of a down day. UEXCF, more of a down, downward pressure. It finished quite strong. We'll see if that has more downside left in it. We'll see. Mega Uranium, small down day, right against support. Uh, this is a bullish formation. We've got Standard Uranium right above support. Doesn't look too bad to me. ALXCF. There we go, pulling all the way down there. Uh, Valor Metals, Valor Metals right on support. We'll see if that support holds. Uh, Elevate getting a little bit of an update today on support almost. And then we've got 92E getting a little bit of a bounce uh, today. 
above the support line. Uh, so that's what I've got for the uranium sector, guys. And right now, I mean, we've got conflicting information. I mean, that we've got some stocks that look that look okay. We've got some that look a little weak. We've got energy sectors that are split. Some, you know, natural gas is looking was is strong, and you know, in, in the short term, it's anyone's guess because the overall market if the overall market heads lower with some strength, I think we're going to go lower with it. If if the market heads higher, I think we're going higher with it. So the markets look pretty weak, the overall markets. Now, if I were to dive in here and show you the overall markets real quick, the SPX. Uh, SPX here, you can see the weakness there. It sold off today. It, it, it got shellacked. And then the NASDAQ got hit hard too, down 4.73 and down 4%. Um, being down that amount, and, and then our, our uranium sector uh, was not down nearly that amount. I mean, if you look at URNM, it was down 5.65. And this is a really volatile sector. I would say that this almost outperformed the S&P 500 almost. I mean, it, remember, uranium's usually a multiplier uh, compared to other markets. It's very volatile. So basically, in the face of a smacking of the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, the uranium market is actually holding up decent. <laughs> um, I, that's that's my take on it. So hopefully we can decouple from the overall markets a little bit. The strong sell-off days do have a deleveraging effect, it, almost a sell everything type of effect on the markets. So you kind of just have to ride through this. And I think whenever the, the selling subsides in the overall markets, I think we'll look a lot better and we'll start heading hopefully higher. Uh, but that's what I've got. I'm still a big bull on uranium. I haven't sold anything. I would be accumulating assets when into strength. And right now, we had a little bit of strength the past three trading sessions. Uh, we had strength in this, this these past couple of trading sessions here. We've come on up. We're starting, you know, we're on this support line. And we got to see what it does. We have to see what the buyers and sellers do and how they interact and what the overall markets are going to do. If you guys like this analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, check out my website, the Platinum Membership. Uh, you can see what's going on there. Uh, again, I play the big trends. I play the big trends. What are the big trends? Uh, energy is a big trend. There's a huge, uh, I think, a huge opportunity in energy for investment moving for the next 10 years. Uh, I also think that uh, materials for energy type of investments are going to be a big play as well, like rare earth metals and copper and uh, all the commodities that go into renewables. And the infrastructure and the um, the grid. There's a whole bunch of, of of different things that we could play, and it's mainly through the materials that I'm playing it. If you're interested in that, definitely sign up for the Platinum membership for the websites in the description link below. And uh, that's all I've got. So we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.